What's going on, man? How's your day, your night, whenever you're watching this video? Today we have Dante versus Bayonetta. Now we're gonna keep this intro short and sweet because other than the information I received from the breakdown, I know nothing about these characters. And on that note, I know Bayonetta has video games, but does she also have a show? The clips they were showing gave me Persona 5 vibes, bro. Y'all let me know down in the comments. As for a prediction, you seen the thumbnail, I gotta go with Dante. Simply, I think he's bringing more to the fight than she is. That's all I can say. As usual, I'm expecting you guys to fill me in about both characters, so y'all go ahead and do y'all thing. If you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button, subscribe, turn that bell on so you don't miss anything. The original link is down below. If you haven't seen, your boy did drop some fire merch. Make sure you check it out, and if you would like to support me even further, get yourself something. Make sure to come back to this video and comment down below what you got. I ain't gonna hold y'all any longer. Let's see if I can get another dub today. Let's get it! Let's go! Dang, they had graphics this clean? That's crazy, she got these guns on her feet, bro. Another wandering lost soul, I see. Whoa. Lost? Nah. I'm looking for something called a left eye. Care to give me a hand? Could be fun. <laughs> I see. But if you're looking for the left eye, that would either make you an angel... They popped it off like this? Or a demon. Damn. <laughs> Bro, I didn't know what she was about to do. Take this. <laughs> What a disappointing finish. That all you got, sister? <laughs> Bro, he ate all of that. <laughs> Ah, looks These like camera angles, wow! Come on! No touching. What? Haven't used this in a while. Still got it. In the mud. <laughs> Yes, You're a naughty boy hitting a girl like that. You need to be taught a lesson. Oh, man! <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. If you like that, you're gonna love this. Promise! <laughs> Bro, I thought this boy Your breath stinks. This is where we part ways, love. Bro, she After been applying you. pressure the entire fight. Ah, come on, Trish. You missed. Oh, don't be a baby. Let's finish her off. Jean, Cereza, having some guy trouble? Not to worry. I've got this one handled. Wait, 
We're getting paid for this one, right? Come on. Man, they boxing on this, bro. Never meet any nice girls. Kyo, worst date ever. Yeah, they even. Hey, this fight friends. was crazy. Top tier, bro. <laughs> what happened to Trish and John? Are they still fighting? Well, I'll no show cap. you how I think it went down in my new show, DBX. Oh, wait, what? Did, did you actually do analysis on your own? <laughs> Hell no. I'm just gonna make them fight. Ugh, you would. And what actually matters, it's true that Bayonetta's satellite-throwing feet trumps any and all of Dante's physical displays of strength. However, Dante edges out in every other category. His arsenal matched in Bayonetta's blow for blow. Hell, even a giant demon like Madama Butterfly is nothing new to this demon slayer for hire. But most of all, Bayonetta didn't have many ways to actually kill him. I mean, the dude shrugs off mortal wounds every day like they were nothing more than bug bites. Both could take a bullet, but unlike Dante, when Bayonetta's stabbed, it hurts. That's why avoiding attacks was her specialty. But she could only dodge for so long against somebody like Dante. Early in their careers, Dante and Virgil obliterated each and every raindrop within a 12-foot radius, briefly creating a completely open space in a rainstorm. Up to 30 raindrops what? can occupy a cubic foot on average, meaning they destroyed 108,000 raindrops in less than a second without any extra abilities or styles. Even with Bayonetta's absurd reaction speed, Dante striking so much space in so little time far outclasses anything she has ever had to avoid. Even when she tried avoiding him with which time, Dante's Quicksilver even the playing field, basically making it useless. It was just a matter of time before Bayonetta suffered the fatal blow. Well, you know what they say, hair today, gone tomorrow. The winner is Dante. Hey, bro, getting these W's becoming a habit now. It's getting too easy for me. For real, though? Top tier fight. S tiers. Top 10. I can't give it top three. Top 10. Boxing is definitely in the top three, though. I see why you guys voted for this fight, but I got one question. What took y'all so long to recommend this fight, bro? 
Y'all be slacking. I'm just playing. I'm just playing, man. Make sure you let me know down below if you agree with the outcome of the fight. If you enjoyed today's video and for another dub, man, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, turn that bell on so you don't miss anything. Who knows? Might have a surprise video coming out for y'all very soon. And I better see you for the Halloween special. I keep saying it. I know you hear me saying it. So you better be there. No excuses. Okay? Now go enjoy the rest of your day, your night, whenever you're watching this video. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.